Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that the now infamous update that rolled out at the beginning of the year, KB503441, is still making the news and is so-called not going away. And this update, just to do a quick recap, because I have posted a whole playlist on this update, because obviously um, it's been causing a lot of issues for a lot of users. And that playlist will be left in the end screen. But just a quick recap. Microsoft rolled this um, update out, 503.441, at the beginning of January this year. And the update originally was meant to patch a security vulnerability in the Windows recovery environment, WinRE, um, which could um, be bypassed and exploited to bypass the BitLocker encryption. That's the long and the short of what this update was originally rolled out for and was meant to to fix. Now, as we have been talking about on the channel, the update caused more issues than it was actually trying to resolve. And it, for most, it was a buggy update and would fail, it fail to install. And the main reason was because the recovery partition did not have sufficient disk space. So the update would fail to install. Okay, so go check that playlist out if you want more info. I'm not going to rehash everything I've spoken about on this update because I've posted quite a lot of content. Now, just to let you know now that a good couple of months later, um, Microsoft is still updating the support page for this update because the last um, kind of big announcement from Microsoft, um, which we spoke about on the channel, was that they had confirmed that they would not, and Microsoft would not fix um, this update with the error 0x8007064 on Windows 10. Now, just to let you know, now, as mentioned, a good couple of months later, and Microsoft is still updating the support page for this issue and for this update. So, obviously, they are getting a, a bit of beef and a lot of negative feedback, which is understandable um, from users. So, they are, in their own kind of way, trying to keep things um, up to date, no pun intended, and trying to keep a whole lot of users happy. But nonetheless, I thought I'd just post this um, because obviously this has generated quite a lot of interest on the channel. And Microsoft has updated it with this section, actually two sections which we'll have a look at. And I'll leave this down below for easy access and reference um, if you'd like to just check this out more in depth. They say this update is not needed and will not be offered if your Windows recovery environment meets any of the following conditions. Okay, um, If the recovery partition does not have sufficient free space. So you won't be offered the update if it doesn't have sufficient free space. If the recovery partition was manually updated by using the procedure, which is this procedure which we have spoken about on the channel, go check that playlist out, it'll be in there and is already up to date. And I'm just going to stop there because obviously, yeah, we're getting a little bit technical and you can just pause the video if you want to see um, number three and number four. Because this is where I kind of think Microsoft gets cheeky with this update. They are expecting you know, your average home user to have the know-how how to go fiddle around in the registry and also to fiddle around with command prompt, which I don't think your average Joe and your average home user has the technical know-how how to do. And still they are posting these um, kind of detailed um solutions or methods to try and find out different things regarding this update which i think is a little bit kind of ridiculous for want of a better word so um microsoft is still obviously getting a lot of beef regarding this and obviously has pushed this out now to tell you why your um why the update is not needed and will not be offered um, regarding these different certain conditions so i just wanted to keep you guys posted and in the loop and something else they have also added as a extra note the update requires 250 megabytes of free space in the recovery partition to install successfully, which is nonsense. I've seen so many comments online and in um, media reports and also on this channel that that is not enough free space uh, for your recovery partition for that update to install successfully. As I've posted previously, um, for the update to install successfully, you need to make it at least, if you have the technical know-how once again, you need to make it at least um, a gigabyte in size. And I think that that's when you'll have the most success in installing the update. Now, as I've mentioned previously, with that all out of the way, as I've mentioned previously, 
you don't actually need this update. Okay, even if you are seeing it's failing to install, you don't need it. Because for this exploit to be successful, which the update was trying to patch in the first place, somebody would have to come into your house and then sit down at your computer and then bypass your security and your password and then try and exploit this issue. Okay, so you don't need it, as I've mentioned previously. And something else to take into consideration is you can actually hide this update. And I've posted a whole video on that, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen um, if you'd like to know how to hide KB503441. But nonetheless, guys, I don't want to make this too long-winded because obviously this update, so to speak, Microsoft is not going to fix it. And as mentioned, my, my advice is just ignore the update and hide the update. And I think that's the best kind of workaround regarding KB503441. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.